All right, guys, welcome back. So in the last video, we learned how to detach our audio from our video clips. In this video, I want to go ahead and pull a song in so we can use it as background music. So what I'm going to do is I can either, we've got an audio file right here in our smart collections. You can go ahead and create a new keyword collections if that makes more sense to you. Again, there's no right or wrong. It's whatever makes sense to you in regards to finding and organizing all of your media. I'll go ahead and just start with this and I'll type in, uh, music just like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make sure I'm highlighted over music. What I'm going to do, uh, the next video, we'll go ahead and pull a song in from iTunes. Let's just say I had an MP3 file somewhere on my computer, uh, preferably on my external hard drive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to click on the import and this is my external hard drive just right here. And in my external hard drive, I have a song called Coffee Stains. It's a very happy song. It's perfect for background music. I'm going to go ahead and click Import Selected. Now it's really just kind of like a drag and drop. You can go ahead and just drag this, pull the whole thing in. You can go back to your cut in and cut out. Maybe you just want to take this part of the song and then hit O for that part. I is for in, O is for out. Makes it easier to edit before you pull it into your timeline. But I want to take the whole thing. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this just like that. And if we locate this in Finder, it should still show up in our external hard drive. My her external hard drive is called Sup Baby. Where is it? Yep, Sup Baby, just like that. My Mac HD is a lot happier when I have all my media on an external hard drive. My computer runs a lot better. And then from there, you can go ahead and just drag it in here. In the past couple of videos, we learned how to trim. We learned how to edit clips. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to head, go ahead and click here, give it the B tool, and I'm going to go back to my A tool, delete that. Nope, I don't want to do that. I want to go ahead and click my B tool right here, and I want to cut that right there. Keyboard shortcut A to go back to selected tool. I'm going to delete that, and now I'm just going to drag this into the front of our video. So let's go ahead and play it. Perfect. Now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and trim it right here. The video clips go for nine seconds. The song probably goes for like three minutes. And after that, it's just going to go to a black screen. I do not want that. That is not good for a YouTube video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my blade tool. I'm going to click blade right there and I'm going to click a select tool. And I'm going to delete that. I've got a gap right there. Let's go ahead and take that out as well. And let's go ahead. Perfect. So that's how you add a song into your Final Cut Pro project. In the next video, I'm going to talk about zooming in. I'm sorry. In the next video, let's talk about fading in and fading out our audio. Good luck with this. I'll see you guys in the next clip.